This is Cosplay Interactions. Alright, it's Con. Be excited. Meet people who are into the same things that you are. And we've got a few other tips to share with you. If you see me, you know I love you. But do not do a jump attack on me. Don't do some kind of run-up hug attack. Number one, do not tackle hug people. Glomp them, pin them to the ground. That is not something you do. They could have very fragile costumes, and you don't want to break or harm them. Look at this costume. I know you want to touch this, but please, just ask me first. How do I pose? If you want to hug someone, ask first. If they say no, respect that. If you hug them anyways, that's a violation of their space. No, before you touch any part of a costume, make sure that you have direct consent. Cosplay does not equal consent. While at the convention, it's fun to take photos, but make sure to ask first. Don't be some creepy stalker who follows the person around and takes pictures of them while they're eating or coming out of the bathroom. That's weird. Now if you want to touch a costume, or you want to take a picture, don't be offended if someone says no, because we all respect that no means no. And make sure that you're understanding if somebody doesn't want to take a photo with you at that time. They might have to go to the bathroom, they might have to go to their hotel, or they may have to go to a panel. Just because someone is dressed from the same series as you doesn't automatically mean they're going to be your best friend, walk around calm with you, holding hands. BFF4L. Doesn't mean that we're going to follow each other along and we're going to be best buds forever. It may be, but don't assume it. Do use cosplay as an icebreaker. It can be a great way to meet people who have similar interests outside of cosplay. And maybe, if you're lucky enough, it could be that they could be your new best friend, or they could even be your soulmate. Do not run, screaming and chasing your friends around the convention center because someone could get hurt. You might end up knocking someone over and hurting them. But be aware of people who have elongated, stretched out costumes. We don't want to step on their costumes and ruin their hard work. Someone could have a cape? a tail, or an elaborately flowy costume. You could be standing on someone's tail. Some of us have tails. Or wings. Everyone has the choice to cosplay who they want, whether it's a different gender or a different race. It's all about having fun. Being an elitist is not allowed. Not everybody can afford to spend hundreds of dollars on a costume. Some people spend a hundred dollars on their costumes, while others use what they have on hand. We all come together because we just want to have a good time, and we want to have fun. Just because you're at a convention doesn't mean you're not still in the real world. Let's be logical. At the convention center, it is never an appropriate time to be inappropriate. So if your character throws things or stabs people, please don't stab anyone or throw anything. If you're a character who throws things, hits things, or stabs things, don't chase around people with yaoi paddles, don't rope people, be respectful of the people around you and their bodies. Do not throw things, hit things, or stab things. We have our big guests, and we have our little guests. We have big cosplayers, and we have little cosplayers. Adults and kids are all around. Be sure to be a positive role model at all times. Some of these little guests are very impressionable. Do not disrespect your venue, whether it's a convention center or a park. Let's keep cosplay at a respectful reputation. Respect the staff members as well as the venue. Remember, you're a guest. Even though it may seem like some people are power tripping, remember that they have rules too. And if too many of the rules are broken, the convention won't be allowed to return. Back on the topic of photos, venues can be the perfect time to take photos. Although you may think you found the perfect photo opportunity, be sure that you're not blocking traffic, whether it be cars or people. Feel free to walk around and find those little nooks and crannies that are the perfect spot for your photo. But do respect the area you're in. Don't go into out-of-bounds areas. Don't block places where vendors are at, because vendors need to vend. While it's great to take pictures and talk with your friends, it's not okay to block traffic. Vendors need to vend, people need to walk. If you need to talk or take a picture, please move off to the side. Now my name's Romeo, and I love you, and I will take photos with you. But just approach me and communicate. 